One of the iconic images of the Pittsburgh area has been transporting people of the Ohio Valley for almost 145 years. The Monongahela Incline opened in May of 1870 to help people get from the Station Square area to the top of Mount Washington. Cincinnati native John Endress engineered the project. The demand for an incline came as a result of demand for labor in the late 19th century. Workers moved into the area and started migrating to the top of Mount Washington and needed a way down the side of the steep hill. At one time, over a dozen inclines were in the Pittsburgh area. Now, just two remain, both operated by the Port Authority. The incline sits on Carson Street, just before the Smithfield Street Bridge, where the Station Square area meets the south side and lets passengers off on top of Grandview Avenue on Mount Washington. It is currently the oldest cliff railroad in the United States, along with its sister railway, the Duquesne Incline, just a mile down the road. It was also the first passenger incline in the United States as well. Originally, the passenger cars were built to hold 17 people. Currently, they hold 23. Originally steam-powered, the trains were changed to electricity in 1935. Once taken to the top of Mount Washington, people have several options of where to go. Several restaurants and shops sit on top of the area. The scenic overlooks give visitors a chance to look at the city of Pittsburgh skyline from across the Monongahela River. Whether for nostalgic taste, transportation, or just for fun, the Monongahela Incline is a part of Pittsburgh that makes the city unique. For Point Park University, I'm Chris Hoffman.